getting back to batteries again, because they seem to be the big mover in all these technologies, at least in prices. I think we've had a couple of stories over the last couple of days, you know, from BNF, EF and Ember just sort of pointing to the the 40% falls in battery storage costs over the last, in the, each of the last two years. And, and that's, you know, that's confirmed just talking to the likes of AGL and Origin and the other big battery developers and how they're all rapidly expanding their size of their batteries. What's the potential role for them sort of acting as sort of um, virtual transmission and just sort of going to maybe addressing some of the issues that David um, sort of picked up in things like the Southwest Renewable Zone? Um, you know, you've got the big increase in transmission costs. Um, you know, what's, um, I, I guess you describe them as non-network options. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, what, what's, what's the potential of that or is that something that's still being discovered? Uh, no, that, that's actually, we've got uh, the Warata um, super battery is, is uh, you know, one example where it's what we call a system integration protection uh, scheme, but that is effectively a virtual uh, transmission line, allowing us to operate the real transmission lines at higher uh, ratings with comfort that, you know, if there was a uh, event on the system, uh, we'd be able to then kick the uh, battery into gear very quickly and therefore uh, be able to ride the, the lines as they're currently at their ratings a little bit harder than otherwise would be the case. So it's happening. 